And that is how the ruffians managed to best me. <laughs> they are strong, to be sure. Very strong. Dare I say, they might be strong enough to defy the prophecy. Spare Cal Black your theatrics. The light prognosticus is false. The dark prognosticus holds the answer to eliminating heroes that rise to stop us. Oh my, that's the first time that morsel of information touched my ears. Do tell. <laughs> it do time, Dementio. It do time. Oh, Nastasia, it's time we set him on these pests. Yeah, um, I can take care of that for you, Count. Lovely, exclaimed Count Black. Return to your post, my minions. As you command, Count. Hail Black! Does something trouble you, Nastasia? Speak. Yeah, Count. You know, there's still time. You can still change your mind. That is enough, Nastasia. We've already come this far, so we shall forge on. But you needn't stay by Count Black's side. You could depart with my blessing. No, my Count. I won't be doing that. My life is already sworn to you. Yeah, it's belonged to you since the day you saved me. I'll be sticking it without you till my game ends, okay? If that pleases you. Wow, this is getting deep. My, my, my. How interesting. That stays in the count of such deep conversations. Hmm, just what is our dear count playing at? Oh well, I'll let him worry about that. I must attend to my own projects. Timpani, why? Why do you avoid me? Ow! Ow! Unhand me! Huh? You're crying. Why? Timpani, you must tell me what has happened. That's nothing. Don't worry about it. Just forget it. Oh no. Timpani, is my father behind this? I'm, I'm just an ordinary girl. How much I love you. We must part. Timpani, I... This is goodbye, Blumier. There's no choice. This is our fate. Okay, we're back. That was a little weird for a while. But we seem to have gone through it okay. I'm so sorry. It was all my fault. And then, you all. Thank you so much. Pfft, you wanna know how you'd thank me, Bugface? Just stay out of my way, okay? Say, come to think of it. Bowser, could you be our third hero? Ho oh, there. I have been waiting for you, young heroes. Did you succeed in your search for the next pure heart? I guess we did. Intriguing. So then, when you say Tippy, the next pure heart just appeared? Hmm, how very interesting. I think that castle was once a dwelling in the ages I told you of earlier. It seems that my ancestors have rode far and wide in their dimensional travels. In the castle beyond the Great Sea, we hit a pure heart and sealed it safely. Yes, I remember reading such a passage in the Light Prognosticus. The seal could only be broken by a powerful pulse of love and trust. So I think it was because Tippy began to trust us that we found this pure heart? That's amazing! And now there are three heroes! Ho ho! I don't know who the last one is, but waste no time in searching, my friends! Oh please, come on people! Me here, you don't need anybody else! Seriously! Any problem comes up, I'll stop it until next week! Well met, Mr. Bowser. Protect this group. Oh, oh, it seems the void has expanded once more. Time is short. We have to keep going. We must start looking for the next heart pillar. Uh, there are matters I must attend to as well. I must search for any item significance of the Light Prognosticus.
Whoa, now. You want to hear the three tips again? What are you talking about? I don't need no more stupid tips. No more hints. No way. You defeated Francis? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. That's huge news. I'm just glad I could help with that dairy mission to infiltrate the nerd lair. So, uh, I guess there's no need for me to stay here and give out tips. I guess I've done my job. i got nothing to do now. Oh, hey. I'm gonna tag along with you guys. Well, I made up my mind. Come along whether you want me or not. Barry the Prickly Pixel has joined your group. Barry to create a spiky barrier around you. There's plenty of dangerous types wandering out there. Let's sit together. It'll be safer for both of us. Yeah, this is gonna be really useful. Oh, by the way. This is how you use the return pipe. You spin around, right, round like a record, and... We're back in Flipside Tower. I completely forgot about it earlier. So, let's head down now. I'll switch to Mario first, though. Going down. So yeah, the next pier, the next heart pillar is actually quite closer than you think. It's actually this way. Remember those um, stakes from? Ouch. So remember those stakes from earlier? Well, if you look closely, there are arrows on them when you flip in 3D. So all you gotta do is pound the ones that say down. And, in order to, uh, bring them back up, just pound them again. Like so. Huh? Oh, there it is. Okay. Time to place the next pillar. Here's the green one. And... Done. 
Here we go. And another world has opened. This ought to be interesting. With that, we should probably head back to Flipside Tower. I think I've got all I can at this point. <laughs> How do you like that? I almost missed it. Through the fierce battle against Francis, Tippy and the Tippy and the Mario Gang grew closer. Behind a fourth door lay a whole new world that beckoned to, book to them both. What awaited was vaster and stranger than anything they'd encountered so far. In order to clear the pure heart, they would have to endure new far-out trials. Chapter four, part one. Into outer space. Hmm, stars everywhere. I believe we're in outer space, almost certainly. What, 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 what? what troubles you, Mario? Ah, uh, yes, of course, we seem to be like an air. You need that, don't you? Oh, oh gracious me, what am I to do? Um, well, let me see. Um, uh, um well, um, so No! That was... unexpected. Hey, please wake up. You're alright. Thank goodness. Got us out of there. It just sort of happened. Perhaps we should ask Merlin's advice. Uh, yeah. Let's do that. Down we go. Done. Next. Oh, right, we should head to Merlin's. Just had to check on something for a bit. Here we are. Oh, ho, that was certainly quick work. You've already found the next pure heart? No, Merlin. That door led us straight into outer space. Space? Oh, I imagine that was an unwelcome surprise. Yes, there was no air, so Mario and his friends couldn't breathe. What do we do? Hmm, well, if you had a space helmet, you would be alright, I imagine. And you have one? Of course, I don't have one. But I imagine that even something like a space helmet would suffice. And I just so happen to... Oh, blast it! What now? Oh, double blast it all! I cleaned out my shelves the other day. Yes, I had the private thing, but I was making space and I gave it to someone in town. To who? Oh, just some random boy. It seemed more convenient than recycling it. You must find that boy and explain the situation. Get it back from him. Well... Since we can't go into space without a helmet anyway, get may as well try and find him. Hmm, I wonder. May as well search.
Huh? Did Merlin give me something like a helmet? You mean this fishbowl? Yeah, it's Captain Gill's here in the cup, but then he got too big for it. Yeah, that's why he got real happy when he got this fishbowl. Well, it does... It did do what it say. <laughs> Thing is, now the captain got so big, the bowl's too small. Hey, I know. We can find a nice set Gills... Freedom. Then he gets the fishbowl. That good, huh? I want to know if he'll be nearby at all times. He got to help me. You got a goldfish bowl. <clears throat> so now we got to find a place to let Captain Gills free. Actually, I think I do know a place where I can set him loose. This time we took a trip to the lower levels of Flipside. Now where's that elevator? This looks like a good place to release the captain. Now the fishbowl is empty. That means you can use it as a space helmet. Now we can go to space. So, let's head back to that door. So now we got... Got our space helmet. So let's head back up. But before I do, however, I'm going to make some uh, preparations first.
That's all for now. This is Mangadoo901 signing off. <laughs>